and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your chef, Sharice, and don't mind these red cheeks because it's about, let's see, oh, girl, it's 1.30 a.m. on a Saturday night, so I haven't gotten a little saucy McSaucer set, but we're going to make vegan sweet potato casserole using our awesome vegan marshmallow recipe, so you'll be able to find out here if they puff up and get all melty and gooey like regular marshmallows do. And before we get started, I do want to give a super huge shout out to Teresa and her husband Craig. You guys are two of the most amazing people that I have ever met in my life, and I already am thanking you guys so hard right now. So uh, let's just get into it. Just like in our vegan mashed potato recipe, what we're gonna do is we're going to prep our potatoes first and we're gonna put them in a pot, a large pot. So I've got three pounds of sweet potatoes that I went ahead and peeled, because this is a sweet potato casserole, and it's gotta be peeled, beach. So I went ahead and peeled these and cut them up in as, as even sized cubes as I could, but like nobody's perfect, like it's okay. And then we're gonna take some cold, cold water and just again, just like our mashed potatoes, we're gonna do it right until it's just above and then we're gonna throw it on the stove and we're gonna boil these for about 15, 20 minutes. We're just looking for them to be soft again, just like we did with our regular mashed potatoes. So while I'm boiling these babies, why don't you hit that subscribe button, beach? Our sweet potatoes are nice and soft tits. So we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of our vegan butter substitute because I wanna get that start to start melting in before we start mixing because we're gonna do again, same thing we did with our vegan mashed potatoes and gravy is we're gonna come in with our handheld mixer, not a stand mixer because we don't have a lot of control over it and we don't wanna use it too much. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. You of course can use a potato masher, but like, <laughs> That just makes you not able to shut your utensil drawer, you feel me? All right, so here's what I like to do. I like to put on low and do a smash. And that's it. And then we're gonna come in here, and hopefully the steam doesn't steam on my camera too much. But we're gonna come in here with a half of a cup of your favorite non-dairy milk. I'm using almond this time. Just do whatever you want, Beach. It's all gonna be the same. And then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can certainly use nutmeg. I just don't have any on hand right now. I have cinnamon. And then we're gonna do some salt in here as well. All right, where's my whisker, baby? And we're gonna mix this up, and then, I like to do a little something cray cray with mine. No, it's really not that crazy. It's just, you know, when you have mashed sweet potatoes like this, like, I don't know, I like a little bit more texture in mine. So this next part is definitely optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and add two thirds of a cup of pecans, 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 whatever you call them. And we're gonna save another third later to go on top as well. And once we have that mixed in, we're gonna transfer this to our 13 by nine. You can use any container you want or pan or what have you. But when I'm thinking realistically about Thanksgiving, I'm thinking about, I only have so many, so I gotta figure out what dish goes in which pan, you feel me? So now I'm gonna come in here with my vegan mallows. So if you guys have not seen my vegan marshmallow video yet, you wanna take a gander at that. You can certainly buy them at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. We don't have one, but we have big tits marshmallows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these scissors and I dipped them in a little bit of powdered sugar and I'm probably gonna have to re-dip because they sticky icky, but we're gonna cut these into smaller sized to pieces like so. And then I'm gonna take my other third cup of pecans and I'm just gonna kind of put it in the spaces where I don't have marshmallow because again, I like the crunch and I like the way it looks. It's like more rustic and it's gonna be so delicious, Beach. So I have my oven set at 375 degrees of Fahrenheit and we're gonna pop this baby in probably for about 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, really all we're looking for here, you guys, is for our marshmallows to have gotten all melty and gooey and toasty and we want them a little bit brown on top and then we want um, all the insides to be like, Oh, you know, warm and shit. You feel me? You guys, look at this. We got ooey gooey. They puffed up so awesome in the oven and they got nice and gooey and so excited. I mean, it's basically a dessert. You basically get to eat dessert during dinner on Thanksgiving. Am I right? Oh, am I right, Beach? All right, let's give it a, let's give it a twirl. Oh, clearly I got the sauce. 
Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well. Mmm. Well, oh. Mmm. Holy shit. Okay. The, oh god, I can't even know where to begin. The crunchiness of the pecans is like everything to me personally. I love the contrast of textures. So it's not all soft. You get a little crunch in there. The the marshmallows got so ooey gooey and they pumped up and like they're perfection. So go check out that recipe. If you want the full written recipe of this one, the will be linked below on my webpage, midnightmunchiesandmore.com. You can always PayPal me if you want to help support this channel so we can get a nice camera and we can get some editing software and make it all fancy schmancy pants. And then that's midnightmunchiesandmoreyahoo.com. That'll also be linked below. You guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, but also hit that little bell notification because I'm going to have more Thanksgiving recipes coming your way. Uh, bye. Ooh, good night kisses, Wally wishes, and reminisces. His eyes kiss and Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, I worry dove, passionate love, listening closely, position in my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition. Get up, like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning. Get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.